So let us solve this problem. 2 cos square theta minus root 3 cos theta minus 3 is equal to 0. So it is not in the form of a sin theta plus b cos theta is equal to c or it is not in the form of a sin square theta plus b cos square theta is equal to c. If you observe this problem, this problem is appears to be in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 which is nothing but a quadratic equation. But here it is a quadratic equation in terms of cos theta. So how can we solve the quadratic equation? Yes, the quadratic equation can be solved two ways. One is factorization method, other one is formula method. If the factorization is not applicable, then we go for the formula method. So let us try first factorization method to get the value of cos theta. After that, we can find out the general solutions of cos theta is equal to here cos alpha, isn't it now? So that let us solve this problem now. Given 2 cos square theta minus root 3 cos theta minus 3 is equal to 0, just 2 into minus 3 you do it minus 6. So, this minus 6 we have to express in terms of root 3. See, let us write like this minus 2 root 3 times root 3. Check what do you get root 3 into root 3, 3, 3 into minus 2 minus 6 only. So, that means the middle term can be split as the sum of the two terms as minus 2 root 3 cos theta plus root, root 3 cos theta. So, now you remember this step. Now, this can be written 2 cos square theta minus 2 root 3 cos theta plus root 3 cos theta minus 3 equals to 0. From the first two terms, what shall you take out common? Yes, you are correct. 2 cos theta we can take out common. If you take 2 cos theta common, you get cos theta minus root here root 3 plus root 3 common in the second two terms you get cos theta minus root 3 equals to 0. From these two terms we can take out cos theta minus root 3 common we get 2 cos theta plus root 3 equals to 0. Now, here we get two cases cos theta minus root 3 is equal to 0 and next 2 cos theta plus root 3 is equal to 0. Okay. So, now here cos theta is equal to root 3. You check cos theta is equal to root 3 means cos theta value lies between minus 1 and 1, it cannot exceed greater than 1 because root 3 value is 1.732 more than 1. So, it is not applicable. So, it has no solution here. The, here theta has no solution, no solution. So, let us solve this equation now. 2 cos theta is equal to, so minus root 3 whereas cos theta is equal to minus root 3 by 2. So, now here cos theta is equal to minus root 3 by 2, this is a negative value, is not it now? So, this we can write cos of pi minus, so pi by 6, this is cos pi by 4. Okay. So, now alpha is equal to principal value which is pi pi by 4. Now, general solution is theta is equal to 2 n pi plus r minus alpha. This is 2 n pi plus r minus 5 pi by 4 where n belongs to z. So, this is the final answer.
थ्री सो नाउ सॉल्व टू का स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस इलेवन साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू सेवन सो दैट मींस जस्ट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इनडायरेक्टली वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट जनरल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द गिवन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन so if you observe given trigonometric equation so that is in the form of a quadratic equation so we know the how to solve a quadratic equation so that can be done in several methods so let us adopt one of the methods so after that we have to apply the formula so that the, this problem can be solved so first if you observe in this problem particularly Here, two cos square theta plus eleven sine theta is equal to seven. So that means here, indirectly, here it emphasizes that actually the cos square theta should be changed. So in terms of sine theta, so that it can be put in the quadratic equation in terms of sine theta, so that we can find out the sine theta values. So later stage we can find out its general solution. So that means. the first and foremost step is we have to convert the sin square theta in terms of cos square theta we know that sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square one cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sin square theta so let us substitute so now the first step here this is given okay Two cos square theta plus eleven sine theta equals to seven. In order to express in terms of sine theta, we have to change cos square theta. As we know that cos square theta equals to one minus sine square theta. So this is the relation we have. So with the help of this, so this can be written. Two times of one minus sine square theta plus eleven sine theta equals to seven. So let it be get simplified now. So two minus two sine square theta plus eleven sine theta and minus seven is equal to zero. So that means if you bring seven this side, that becomes minus seven. So now, so this can be written minus two sine square theta plus eleven sine theta minus seven plus two minus five equals to zero. See, having been multiplied both sides with uh, minus one, so let us see what will happen. So if you multiply minus one on either sides, so this can be written two sine square theta. Minus eleven sine theta plus five is equal to zero. Am I correct? Now, as it is put in the form of a quadratic equation, which is in terms of sine theta. So that means let us see for the factorization. Two into five ten. So that means ten into one ten only. Ten plus one is eleven. So that this middle term can be split as. Minus ten sine theta and minus sine theta, so that it becomes minus eleven sine theta itself only. So now this can be middle term can be written as like this: two sine square theta minus ten sine theta and minus sine theta plus five is equal to zero. From the first two terms, let us take two sine theta common. We have sine theta minus phi. Here minus one common. We have sine theta minus phi equals to zero. I think you might be following this step now. So what is the next step? You will expect it. So now here we get two. Sorry, sine theta minus phi as a common out. Let us take it. So sine theta minus phi is taken common, and we have two sine theta and minus one equals to zero. So now here two cases will arise. One is like this: 
sin theta minus phi equals to 0 and one more condition 2 sin theta minus 1 equals to 0 or is equal to 0. So, now sin theta is equal to phi can it be possible? Never. Since sin theta lies between minus 1 and 1 for every theta belongs to real number. So, that is why here it is not applicable this solution because sin theta belongs to minus 1 comma 1 or sin theta lies between minus 1 and 1. Here it has no solution. It has no solution. No solution. That means let us go for the next one. Here the 2 sin theta is equal to 1 correct. Now sin theta equals to 1 by 2 which is equivalent to sin 30 correct. So now it can be solved it is solvable. So that means the pi by 6 is known as principal value. So that means alpha is equal to principal value is pi by 6. Now general solution is theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha. So therefore you can write like this n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n whose principal value is pi by 6 let it be substituted. So we get pi by 6. So this is the solution in this way we can solve it.